They're on you, Lack. Don't disappoint us. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure, how about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good, then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Well, you could always speak to Delvin or Vex if you're looking for extra work. Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Nerowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Until next time. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Read the old fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you up the street and dropped you into the thick. Hey, you mix potions, right? Can you brew me an ale? As Yar Leila's house car, I would ask that you maintain respectable distance from her at all Welcome times. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. It's nice to receive good news for a change. Did you recover anything else from the warehouse worth mentioning? Then there's no time to lose. It won't take long for Sarthus' associates to learn of his death. The source of the poison must be destroyed once and for all. Otherwise, another dealer will simply take his place. Do this task for me, and you'll be well on your way to a title in Riften. Good. Report back to me when your task is complete. Good journey to you. Looking to stay alive? I Why take a chance? All meats guaranteed, clean and free from rock joints.
you journey north, keep well away from Snapleg Cave. The damned hag ratings have infested the place. Just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly right? clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, and two, then we understand. Now, it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. A lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tenelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into Steal the thick of things without telling about? you which way is up. Am I right? Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one I've of got the back for the guild. I watched Let's Delvin. Read your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. 
About right? See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Who in their right mind would be stupid enough to pay you to steal from Maven? Yes, I should have known. Maven and Sivy have been at odds ever since she had him tossed into jail. Look, if I were you, I'd proceed carefully. Crossing Maven is one of the first things you learn not to do when you're down here. As far as the guild's concerned, this is between Sibby and Maven. So we're going to officially stay out of it. Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goff Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. If you're looking to get some coin for the fruits of your labor, you should talk to Tanelia. She sounds tough, but she'll catch you a fair deal. I also suggest you spend some time in the training room. Just talk to Mipper. He'll show you around. Years ago, the Guild used to have a foothold in every major city in Skyrim. You wouldn't dare even lift an apple without checking with us. When things started going downhill around here, it became difficult to keep it all together. We lost fences, influential contacts, and coin. It wasn't long before we lost what we depend on to survive. Respect. By doing these extra jobs and putting some fear into the people, we can take back the cities and start being taken seriously once again. Thanks to Maven Blackbriar, we still have some pull in Riften. But get arrested in Whiterun and you'll be tossed right into the prisons. If we gain the confidence of someone very influential who lives there, by doing a unique job for them, we'll be able to have some leverage there too. The only way we get that special job is by doing smaller ones in those cities until we catch their ear. Then they'll contact me and we're off. Stick with me and they'll never even know you're there. I handle the fishing, numbers and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back.
been a good friend to me. That means something. Too lazy to... Don't mind if you do. What's your... Soul, she's all yours. She's already saddled up. All right, then. No lollygagging. Please. How high the mountains of Skyrim rise. Speak to one of the others if you wish to buy something. Bandits harass the caravans at every step, but Khajiit usually scare them off. A few days ago we were ambushed. A nuisance, really. But many of the marauders had quick fingers. One of them stole my moon amulet. Given to me by my mother when I was just a cub. It is my only memory of home in this cold land. You are kind to offer. We believe the bandits are part of a group headquartered here. Be careful. I missed my amulet. But a life cannot be replaced as easily. Skyrim is filled with all manner of dangerous beasts. Wolves, trolls, mammoths, and giants would all like to make a meal of us. But the dragons are the most fearsome. Lucky for us, they don't seem to hunt along the roads. Yes, I was hired to protect the others as we walk the roads of Skyrim. It is a thankless task, and I would rather be back home in elsewhere. But I have little choice. Akari freed me from a prison in Cyrodiil, and now I must repay my debt to him. A word of advice, my friend. Do not mix gambling and drink. Taken together, they will empty your pockets of every septim. May your road lead you to warm sands.
cave. Wonder what's inside.
fuck is going on? Is the game bug? Well, that's help, I doubt it. Doubt that it is, but I've seen it before. You know the slow mo, but that was uh, with a uh, dragon shout. And I use no mods. You know, no mods whatsoever.
Well, it's a known bug, according to Google. But still. Rebooting, rebooting the game worked. Certainly was nice though, you know, I must admit that. 